warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Nothing in the other snares. I'm walking down this hill of death for one snare that's over here that <laughs> told us freaking cat track. <laughs> I could see that plain as day. There's still bobcats here, but I'm done. I've drove here enough and I've killed enough. We're at 29 coyotes off this property, so 50 plus possums, 50 plus raccoons. Uh, what do I got? Five bobcats off of here. That's a pretty good start. And just need to maintain it. Come back in April for a week. Catch a couple coyotes a day for for a week and then do the same thing in May. Because you can trap year round here in Nebraska for coyotes. So I'll just give me a nice catch catch pool and we'll release the non-targets. Unless he gets a nuisance for the coon. Nothing here. This is a really big coon highway that we need to address next year or next season. Whoo, I'm breathing hard. That's a, that's a heck of a climb. I gotta go back up. <clears throat> but right here, hell of a coon trail. And there's another one right over there going that way. And then the coon trail kind of runs right along the fence. So when you get in here, we'll put a bunch of buckets right here. Just come in with a dozen buckets and just hit it hard right here. We got a river right over there. So that's the best thing to do with that. Now I'm going to see how the terrain changes. Weird thing number one. That's kind of my all time, like this is really weird when I first seen them. Uh, one is, it's, I'm going to show you this too, but all the rock, how the terrain completely changes. It's just complete rock compared to an 45 minutes away at my home where there's zero rocks and it's all dirt and dust and whatever. But this, this is the all time weirdest thing that I would expect to find anywhere. And that is cactus. They are everywhere. They're there. There's some over that way. They're they're on all, I mean, everywhere I've been. The first time I seen them, I should have got it on film. They were standing up out of the snow, and I'm like, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Some people are probably thinking I'm retarded. And there's a lot of thorns on that one. But 45 minutes from here, I've lived my entire life and I've never seen a cactus outside of someone's yard. So it's pretty weird the terrain change. It's just all this rock and cactus. I had to show you that. And I'll go down there, I'll, I'll go along the trail here and find you the second thing that you guys think is weird. I got so many comments. What is those yellow, brown, whatever color balls they are at the time that I showed them in, in the films? You guys, so many comments, like what are those? But those are very common in our part. They're Osage orange, hedge apples, uh, hedge trees. It's what farmers use for posts. This is obviously a steel post, but a lot of hedge cut for posts. It's a really strong wood. So I'll find those and I'll show you guys those. All right, stay tuned guys. We're walking along. Oh, look at this. Look at all that cactus. Tell me the deer don't eat that. See, it's a, just a steep cliff, cedars. I mean, to terrain. The amount of terrain changes on this ranch is something else. I guess I'll keep going and see if we can find anything else. But you see all the rock? It's turning into a bottleneck here. Be cool to find a big old shed on my way out of here, but it's getting that time of year, guys. There goes a rabbit. He's like, I'm out. I don't like that. There he goes. Through the fence. He's gone. You guys point out that kind of stuff. 
in my videos, you're like, hey, something ran across in front of you a certain, certain time. And I used to go back and see what it was, but so many times it's just a rabbit or squirrels running. I don't even pay attention anymore. Look at this bottleneck right here. Should have had a coyote set there. I'm gonna get, I wanna get a road. I don't know if I can go right there, but I wanna get a road. I think my Ranger will fit through that. I wanna be able to drive all along that fence sometime, someday. And I've talked to Flair about it. I think it would be badass to be able to go all the way around here, strategically put in some holes in the fence for coyotes and just clean them up. I don't know what you guys think about that, but it would be nice not to have to walk this. Look how thick we're getting. This will be our final show of the ranch. I will have a movie coming out. I don't know what it's gonna be called, but I put together everything from this little trapping adventure into one and edited it down to about an hour and a half or so. And so those of you, I know a lot of you guys like to watch them on TV. I'll show you this road here. So now we've opened up. So we cut out those trees, right? We could drive all the way down here. All the way. Keep driving. I haven't seen no, I haven't seen no hedge balls yet, but I'll see them here at some point. We could easily open this up. Probably spend like a week doing it. Look at, there's plenty of room here. Cut out those trees. Then you get here, which has a gate, but we can, I wanna, I'd like to keep it continuing in one big loop. We'd have to build a bridge or something over there, but, and then we can reopen this old four wheeler road here. And we are now in, those of you that watch Flare regularly, we are now heading into the freak's bedroom. Now there's a hedge ball that's been ate by squirrels and rabbits. There should be a bunch of them on our way up this trail. They're usually everywhere until I'm looking for them. They're really good around the house. They keep spiders away. But look at this trail. It's another road that could be accessed to sneak into places. And I could trap this. I never did trap it this year. Really good access road we're gonna give you guys one last tour here is a hedge ball they're usually green and they're rock solid but this one's mushy and it's only one they really do get ate by everything we'll find more of them i think they're they're pretty much worthless Except for there is a few things that eat them, but I think they just get one little seed out of the inside. Look at this road. This would be like beautiful to drive on. Like a second access to the to the cabin, a long scenic to road that you take. I'm weird like that though. This would be a killer driveway. See the deer stomping. Still doing their thing. Right now would be a good time to see an antler laying around. Where's all the hedge balls now that I'm looking for them? Oh, there's some of that way. All right, let's go look at them. Maybe not. Okay. These things are early, honestly, everywhere. And you can see something's been chewing on that one. But they gotta go clear inside. And I don't know, I've never went inside of one to see actually what they get out of it. I might open one up. I do not know what they get out of it, but it ain't very much. You'll see all of this outer shell is laying on the log or wherever they're doing it. I don't think Flair showed these in the videos, but he might have. But these are badass stands right here. I told him, I go, those are badass. Fucking look at the rebar. Look at this rebar, how thick that is. 
that is a heavy duty stand. These new seats, but that is a that's a killer spot right there. Traveling down to where you guys use the sea free. There's down there's where I caught the bobcat in a snare. Down on the bottom there. Huge, huge, huge ridge over there. You see that? That's all on this ranch. Got some rubs. The deer don't even care that I've been through here because I do it every day. Another rub. All right, I'm gonna show you. Here's a bunch of hedge balls, guys. I'm just talking, but look. Huge hedge tree right here. Talking about some of the toughest wood. But see, they gotta shed all that to get to the main thing. And we're gonna find out. I got one right here. We're gonna open it up and see what the squirrels are actually getting. I've never looked. Look at this. This is killer right here. For deer. This is where the big boy lays. He's probably got his antlers. I'm sure there's some antlers down, but I'm just passing through. We've got to check a couple more cables. We're going to throw the cables in the ranger. I got the ranger with me today. And we're bailing. We're done with the ranch until maybe April. Talked to Flair a little bit ago. He's here at the ranch. All right, let's go get back on the trail and get out of here. I got a couple clear up here on the trail. Stay tuned, I'm gonna open this up. Somewhere the fucking trail disappears here, boy. I don't know where the heck it went. Ooh, here I go. Ouch. All right, hang on. Let me get this. Oh boy, look at this. We were in Freak's neighborhood, and look at this rub. That's a doozy. Here's somebody moving over here. Look at that guy. That's a good one. Take a picture for Flair. I'm sure he's probably seen it, but sometimes if you don't go off the beaten path, you don't see it. I get out of here, I'm running out of daylight. Man, this looks, I would be hunting right here for sure. Look at this. All right, we're back on the trail. Rubs everywhere. Hedge balls everywhere. Oh Lord. That's a whole hedge row right there. Big hedge, big hedge. You can see they're eating them all right there. All right, let's get this open and see what's in it. All right, so I don't have a knife on me because I like never carry one. Kind of stinks. Actually, now that all they're getting is these little, uh, they're getting these little dinky seeds. That's all they're getting. And they're not, they're not in the center. God, it almost smells like a watermelon, kind of. That's kind of weird. Hang on a second. All they're getting is these little seeds right here. I mean, I guess that's better than what I thought. There's seeds and they're, they're like every one of these things here has a seed down there somewhere. See the seeds? Oh, now I know. I've never opened one and looked. So the squirrels are sitting there picking out all them seeds out of that ball. It actually smells kind of like watermelon. A little bit. It's got that weird kind of aroma. Well, there you guys go. Now my hands are probably going to fall off for playing with that. So there's there's something. And you guys were wondering what the Osage Orange, Hedge Apples. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's other names for them. There you go. That's what it was. Yuck. <laughs> they're everywhere. Let's just say that. Look, they're eating them there. It's like the squirrel's main diet here, except for when Flair has his feeders going. See them all? They're just everywhere. So those of you that don't have them, you're not missing a dang thing, because you step on these things when they're freshly fallen, and you're breaking an ankle. I do have them in my yard.
okay on the back side. All right, get up here. This all looks good. He's gonna have a hell of a good time shed hunting here, I think. Should be pretty easy. Get a couple guys and spread out. Keep track of where you've been. Grid search it. I think you can find them. So you guys know what hedge apples are now. And you know that there's cactus. Another. I hear barking. I'm not exactly sure if I'm supposed to hear barking. <laughs> 